Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors Anonymous. Today, I just picked up a new shotgun. This is a Charles Daly N4S G2 semi-automatic 12 gauge bullpup shotgun. So we're gonna give it a quick test run here. And then at the end, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Let's go. That, that has got some kick, damn. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, that was uh, that was pretty fun to shoot. It does have some kick. So this is what I was shooting with it, right there. Kind of took me off my footing there a little bit when you're sending off uh, sending off the fires in rapid succession like that. But it is a fun gun as long as you get into a pretty aggressive stance that's stable. I think it should be okay. So like I said, this is the Charles Daly N4S G2. It's a 12 gauge in the bullpup configuration. The barrel length technically is like 18.5 because here in Canada, it's gotta be 18.5 for a semi-auto shotgun to be legal. Pump actions can be a little bit shorter than that. I think pump actions, the minimum length is 14 or 14 and a half or something like that. Uh, Semi-auto, so uh, for shotguns, they have to be 18.5 uh, inch barrel. So this one is actually 18.5, but because of the bullpup configuration of this gun, it actually functions like a 14 like a 14 inch barrel. Really, really cool gun. Um, not gonna lie, it did have one misfeed uh, on me and that's off camera um, wasn't too happy about that but I mean it is uh, how much did I pick it up for I picked it up for about 700 bucks at Cabela's I think it was like 699 and then you got taxes on top of that so whatever your taxes are here in Manitoba it's uh, I think 12 percent so 700 a little over 700 bucks for this gun I mean if you want to get a real real good reliable semi-automatic shotgun like you're gonna go with a Benelli M4 or something right and um, that's just like you know price range all of a sudden just jumps up dramatically for that but for I mean um, for a gun to sort of plink around with here at the gravel pits or wherever at the range right 700 bucks it didn't do too bad um, my favorite part about this particular gun, of course, is that it is the bullpup. This is the first time I've ever fired a uh, bullpup configuration firearm, and uh, I am not disappointed with it at all. Actually, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the performance of the gun. Being the bullpup, it's uh, it's a lot easier to manipulate because it functions like a 14-inch barrel instead of an 18-inch uh, instead of an 18-inch barrel. So it's a lot easier to manipulate the firearm. So I'm really happy with that. It was uh, that was that was one big positive for me. Um, it cycled well for the main part, mostly. I'd say like 90% it cycled well. Like I said, it did have that one misfeed, but aside from that, it shot it shot great. And it also comes when you when you buy it it also comes with its own hard case box like this and it's actually it's a really nice hard hard case with the styrofoam and everything it comes with two detachable magazines so you got one and two um, magazines they're not they don't feel too cheap but I mean 
it's not you know it's not the highest quality but it doesn't feel too cheap functions well it only had the one misfeed um, the magazine release magazine release is fairly easy to handle so it's just right here as you take out the magazine you're pressing with your thumb here magazine just comes right out slap the new one in charge it just like that and you're ready to go again this the charging handle is ambidextrous so you can actually switch this over to the right side whichever side you prefer to shoot it in I prefer doing it from the left like this so that you can reload and it's got this to charge it there as well as soon as you put in a magazine you got there sort of like an AR-15 or you can do it with a charging handle just like that the sights um, I know they come the sights that they come with are different some I've seen I've seen a couple of these online with a different sight mine the one that I got for some reason has this handle that it comes with like that and the sights are up on the handle like this and you've got the uh, what do you call it there fiber optic so um, on the front sight there I think is what it's called so it's easier to see but I like it I like this one with the one with the handle so it's easy to carry like this um, some of the other ones that I've seen doesn't have this handle and they have like the flip up flip up sights for the front and the back here um, the safety on this gun also is ambidextrous so you got there on that side and you also have the safety on this side like that uh, the cheek weld that is adjustable here as well I have it on the lowest setting that's okay with me uh, what else am I missing here I think I think that's pretty much it it's got a padded padded uh, buttstock here which is good because you're going to need a padded buttstock when you're firing this gun especially if you're going to rapid fire it so overall um, for the price of the gun and uh, you know overall quality obviously it's not a Benelli M4 semi-auto um, but overall quality for the price of this gun I would say I would rate it like 8 out of 10 um, I'm pretty happy with it um, all the accessories that it comes with um, charging handle safety being ambidextrous <sighs> yeah it's just it's a really fun gun to shoot guys and uh, if you're looking for a fun semi-automatic shotgun to just plink around with at the range I would highly suggest this one I like this gun um, overall rating I'd say 8 out of 10 um, all my only issue that I had with it so far was out of about 30 40 rounds that I fired through it so far it had one misfeed where the shell got stuck in there and uh, yeah aside from that it cycled beautifully and I really like the gun so if you guys have been thinking about the Charles Daly N4S G2 uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and check out the rest of my stuff in my channel as well if you like the rest of my content I would highly appreciate it if you did consider uh, subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one peace